Hey, what's happening, fam? Welcome back to BoxFit. This is your 30 minutes of boxing in HIIT. My name is Dhruv. I'm going to lead you through this intense and heart pumping workout session. Before we start with our workout, we'll jump into our mobilities and warm up. So we'll start with a quick side to side rotation. What I want you to do is rotate your body side to side for 30 seconds. Let's go nice and easy. Yes. We're mobilizing our spine here. You rotate it fully. Keeping your chest up, yeah? Perfect. Drop me a hi or a hello if you're working out with me or box fit for the very first time. Ooh, nice and easy. Okay, three, two, one, and time. Perfect. Going for our next movement, it's lunge and rotate. Now, the same rotation you will do with a lunge. So, you lunge forward with your left leg, rotate your body to the same side. Then with your right, and turn same side. All right, 30 seconds again. Let's jump into it in three, two, one, and go. Ooh, nice work. Very good. It is very important to get our body mobilized, our muscles warmed up before starting an intense workout. Keep moving. Easy, very good. Okay, we have 10 seconds on this. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. Going for our next movement, it's called inch worms. Yes, it's a good movement to warm, mobilize your shoulders and your core. What you're gonna do is you squat down, palms down, walk forward to a high plank. Here you will give me a shoulder tap. So one, two shoulder tap, walk back and stand up. Simple as that. 30 seconds of work. Let's dive into it in three, two, one, and go. One, two, walk back. Today, we are going to burn a lot of calories. Again, you gotta stay with me till the end. We gotta make this 30 minutes count. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and time. All right. Good job, everyone. Going for the next movement, it's in and out squat. From here, we'll progress this further. We'll do some jumping movements now. We keep a shoulder with a part stance on your feet. Squat down, jump forward, jump out, and you touch the floor. Jump in, jump out, touch. 30 seconds of work. We'll shoot our heart rate this time. Let's go in three, two, one, and go. 30 seconds. Come on, in and out. Just tall, back straight. Don't bend forward like this. Make sure your spine stays straight. Let's go. Let's go, everyone. Come on. Keep that smile on your face. We are celebrating this 30 minutes. Come on. Because you're moving. You're moving your body. Putting in the effort. Going faster. Lighter. Three, two, one. And relax. Cool. We have last movement. It's called side shuffle. Very simple. What you're gonna do is you take three steps to the left, bend down to the side, touch the floor. Three steps right, same thing. Again, 30 seconds of work. Let's go for it. We start thing in three, two, one, and let's move. We're not going too fast and not too slow as well. Just letting our muscles, our joints warmed up. Come on. Slowly and gradually, if you're feeling good, you can pick up your pace. Keep moving. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Good job. Cool. Our body's warmed up. Muscles are prepared. We'll jump into our technique work from here. Technique In the technique work, we'll learn how to throw punches. How to do, do, do those crazy cool punches. So that we can add them in our workout, all right? What I want you to do is, let's take a stance first. If you're right-handed, right foot back. Left-handed, left foot back. Hand stays up here, elbow tucked in. You better protect your body and face. Now, knee soft. We learn the basic pants is jab and cross. The left is a jab. You open it up in front of your face. Come back here. Again, you extend, come back. Three, two more. Last one, and come back. 
One thing you have to remember, you turn your shoulders, turn your core along with your punches. All right, moving on to a right punch. Same thing you're doing right side. Hit the punch, pivot the back foot, bring your hip into it. Go back. Four, three, two, turn your shoulders. One, and relax. Cool. Next punch, we need to know, it's called a hook punch. Very simple. It's winding up to your 12 o'clock right now. You turn your knuckles to 3 o'clock. Turn your body back here. How simple is that? We'll do three more reps. Two, one, and time. Same thing, right side. One, two. Make sure you're keeping your other hand on the face. Yeah? One, and time. Cool. These are the hook punches. Now, also, we need to know how to do knees and kicks. All right? It's very simple. Lift your right knee up, push forward. I'll show you from the side so you can see better. Lift your right knee up, drive forward through your hip, come back. Simple, right? Same thing you will do with the left side. Lift, hit and back. Make sure the hand stays up. Doing right knee, right hand, the hand goes back. When you're doing the left knee, the left hand swings back. Cool. Now we need to know the last thing, that's your kick. Now how to do those crazy, crazy cool kicks. What you're going to do is, in your stance, from there, as we do the knee, this time, we will extend our leg forward. Okay? So, lifting the knee up, extending, and coming back. The hand movement stays the same. Now, as we know these movements, let's add some cardio along with it, alright? The very first thing we'll do, for at least 30 seconds, we'll do jab crosses, alright? So that you learn better, and we can start with our main workout. 30 seconds, jab crosses, everyone. On your guard, we go in three, two, one, and go. Jump cross, stop for one second, and go again. Whew. One, two, and back. Shoot those punches. Let your body move. Come on. Turn those shoulders. Power travels from your core. So it is traveling from your foot to your fist. So you, when you are pivoting your foot, the power is traveling through your body and coming onto your fist. Come on. Three, two, and one. Good job. We did good. Next movement we'll do along with this. It's hook punches, yeah? How can we forget that? So now I want you to do a left hook. You squat down. Right hook. Squat down. 30 seconds. We'll repeat this. In three, two, one, and let's go. Left hook, squat down, right hook. Let's follow me. Along with this music, slowly and gradually, speed up, catch your pace if you're feeling good. Come on. Very good. It's very, very important to get those shoulders warmed up before we start our main workout. We're still on the drills and technique work. Let's get some punches in. And time. Very good. Next round, we are doing same punches, but this time you will give me one squat and left and right hook. All right, 30 seconds of work in three, two, one, and let's do it. Squat, one, two. Squat, one, two. Very good. I love this song. It really gives me energy to throw those punches. Come on. Feel like a boxer. Feel like a fighter. Everyone is a fighter. Whether in a ring or outside the ring. Everyone is a fighter. If you're working out with me, you are a fighter. Believe in yourself. Come on. You can do everything. There's nothing impossible. Alright. Relax. Good job. Now, from there, we'll do those knees, alright, which we learned. 30 seconds right side. 30 seconds, we'll switch to the other side. Cool. Boxing stance. Guard on the face. Remember, we have to protect our face. Elbows in. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Right knee and back. 30 seconds. Just open up your hip. Open up your hip flexors. Get them warmed up for our workout. Come on. Nice and easy. Even if you're doing boxing, you're doing these knees to get your hip flexors warmed up because every time you're doing rotation and extension, you gotta engage them. And one, relax. 
Same thing other side. 30 seconds. 3, 2, 1, and go. Perfect. Keep moving. It's a boxing and HIIT workout. If you also want to join a kickboxing workout, you can check out the videos on YouTube. You will find a calorie kick session. That's a complete kickboxing and HIIT. If you're a kickboxing person, go right there. Three, two, one, and relax. Good job, everyone. We're starting with our main workout. Yes, this is the time we'll go with some high intensity work. All right. So we're starting with a combination. You stay in your boxing stance, hands up here. You will do pendulum. So simply you're gonna hop forward and back on the balls of your feet. All right, three seconds up, stop. Give me jab, jab, cross, hop again. Now this you're doing for one and a half minute. Then we have a cardio or a strength movement. Remember it's a HIIT workout as well. So let's go for it. All right, one and a half minute of this work. Starting in three, two, one, and go. Little bit of pendulum, you stop. Give me jab, jab, cross, and move again. Make sure your hands stay up and keep moving. Shoulders relax. Jab, jab, cross, move again. And also, you always have to remember that when you're extending those punches, you have to breathe out, okay? When you're breathing out, you're squeezing those core muscles. That really helps you with the power and that explosiveness in your punches. So let's go, keep moving. Last one minute. Shoulders relax. Come on, get those punches in. Nice and easy. Rolling the shoulders, breathing out while you're extending the punches. Come on. Hopping on the balls of your feet. Keep going, keep going. Yes, there you go, there you go, everyone. Come on. 30 seconds, we have more. Let's do this. Make every single rep count in this workout. Yes, breathe out. Keep hopping. We are almost done. Very close to the finish line. Come on. 10 seconds on the clock. Keep moving. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Cool. Now the next movement we are doing, it's only pendulum, okay? Now for next 30 seconds, you just have to jump on the balls of your feet, forward and back. All right, 30 seconds of work. Let's start in three, two, one, and go. Just hopping, nothing fancy. We'll work on the basic first, then we'll progress further. Shoulders bouncing, that means they're relaxed. Elbows tucked in, keep hopping. Come on. Keep breathing. Keep your breathing normal. We have 10 seconds more. We're almost done with this. Four, three, two, one, and time. Okay, now a movement we are adding here, it's called sprawls, all right? Kind of burpees, but not burpees at all. Shoulder the stance on your feet, palms on the floor, jump back, jump forward, stand up. Okay, I'll give you some scale down and scale ups if you want, but let's get started. We'll do 30 seconds of this as well. We're jumping into it in three, two, one, let's go. Nice and easy. Moving our full body together, getting those repetitions in. Come on, if you can't do this, you place your arms down to stepping instead, but I want you to keep moving, all right? Come on. If you're feeling good, you go faster. Increase your speed. One, and relax. Good job. That was our first round, all right? Now what we'll do, we'll repeat this round once again. Same movements, yes, same movements for one more round, same timing. Starting with the first one, jab, jab, and cross. For one and a half minute, let's jump into it. In three, in two, in one, it's our time. One, two, three, come on. Now we know how to throw those punches, so let's pace up. Easy walk, come on. If you're just using your arms, that's not a right way to hit punches. 
Make sure you're moving your body, moving your shoulders, rolling them together. Last one minute. Come on, boxers. Let's go. Ha, ha, pap. Keep moving. Breathe out. Pap, pap, pap. The spirit thing is very important. If you have seen baseballers, cricketers, all of them use this. Your power comes from an explosive hip extension and rotation. So I'm extending and rotating at the same time. That's how I bring power in my punches. So make sure you apply it on yourself as well. Keep moving, come on. Very close to the finish line, come on. 20 seconds, more we have. Let's go faster. Let's get more reps in. Last 10 seconds, everyone. Last three, two, one, and drop it. Good job. Okay, second one. We remember it's pendulum. 30 seconds of work. Three, two, one, and go. Keep jumping. Forward and back. Light on your feet, keeping the knees soft, hands on the face. Let's go. Move, move. Nice, on the music, on the music. Enjoy the music, feel it. Try to feel every muscle in your body that you're working on right now. Come on. That's how we do it, baby. Move, move. One, and relax. Very nice. Okay, the last movement, sprawls. 30 seconds of work. Let's go, everyone. In three, two, and one. Come on. Make sure your palm stays right under your shoulders. So HIIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training. Every movement should be hard enough to spike your heart rate. And also you should feel it. One hand, relax. Good job. Okay, good job. We completed our first round. We made it. We'll move on to the second one. We have different combination. We have different movements now. Okay, see what we're doing next. Combination is jab, cross, left hook from the side and across. You remember we learned the left hook? We're adding it here now. So jab, cross, left hook, cross, along with that pendulum for one and a half minute. Are we ready? Let's go in three, in two, in one. Here we go. Hop, 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 stop, jab, cross, hook, cross, hop again. Perfect. So boxing is for everyone. A lot of people say that only athletes can do this or only this is for boxers or fighting. No, it's very good if you're doing it here because it really it will really help you with the self-defense. It burns a lot of calories. It will help you tone up faster. Yeah? So always remember, this boxing workout or any boxing workout, it's not only for boxers or for athletes. Everybody can do it. Yeah? Come on. Go faster, catch your speed, keep moving. Light and easy, come on. Shoulders bouncing, keep them relaxed, do not keep them like this. Relax, and then move. Come on, come on. Let's go! Here we go, here we go. Let's work. Let's go. Come on. Last 10 seconds, everyone. Keep moving around. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, catch your breather. Second movement we have in the second round is punch and jacks. How are you gonna do it? I want you to squat down, give me one, two punches, and then you take a jack here, okay? So feet together. Squat down, one, two, and a jack. This movement you're doing for 45 seconds. Are we ready? In three, in two, 
in one. Let's go. One, two, jack. Keep your chest up when you're squatting down. No rounding of the back. Chest up. 30 seconds on the clock. We are killing it. Come on. Very good. Feel that burn on your legs as well. Tell Marvin. 15 seconds. Here we go. Come on. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Next movement is down on the floor. It's bicycle crunches. And on your back, hands behind your neck. Feet off the floor. Touch your left on the right knee, right elbow on the left. 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. On the beat. Faster. Come on. Turning your body together, bringing your knees close to your chest. Feel that burn on your abs, come on. Let's work. Almost done. Last 15 seconds, everyone. Yeah, we scaled it up for 45 seconds. Last 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! I felt it. Good job. Catch your breath. We'll go for our next round, okay? We're not repeating this for two rounds. We'll go for our third circuit. The movements. Combination here we're doing is very, very simple. You give me a jab, jab, cross, left hook and a cross. Showing you from this side. Jab, jab, cross, left hook, cross. One minute of work. Starting in three. Two, one, let's roll. <laughs> Move your body. Move your punches. Extend them fully. If you're doing this, these are not punches at all. Extend them and you will have the power. Almost there. Move. Let's go. Speed up. We're coming close to the finish line. Let's go a little faster now. Keep moving. Keep grinding. Keep slaying. Last 10 seconds. Come on. Two, one, and relax. Cool. Going for our next, next movement. It's called squat and knee tuck. So the bicycle, bicycle crunches that you did on the floor, you're doing with the squat now. So you do a squat, come up, that's your right knee on the left, left on the right, and a squat again. 30 seconds of work. Starting in three, two, one, go. Make sure you're turning your body together, engaging those obliques, working on those abs. Almost here. Last 10 seconds. Faster. Three, two, one, and time. When you catch your breather, we have a movement on the floor. That's called plank hip rotation. Elbows down, take an elbow plank hold. Rotate your hip side to side. 30 seconds. In three, two, one. Let's go. If you have a good core strength, that supports everything else in your body. So you really gotta work on your core. Let's go. Last 10 seconds. Feel your abs. Feel your core. Three, two, one. And relax. Good job, everyone. We're doing a great job. I want you to take a quick, quick 30 seconds of break. If you want to have a sip of water, have it quickly. 
We'll do only two movements for one round now. Okay, meanwhile, I'll explain you what we're doing next. I'll show you the combination that we're doing. Okay, here we're adding a slip movement, which is very, very simple. This is a defensive movement. Imagine a punch is coming on your face. All you're gonna do is you turn your shoulders to the right to defend the punch or to the left. Simple, right? Now, give me a jab, cross, slip right, cross. Simple. Only straight punches with a slip movement. One minute of work. Let's go for it. Starting in three, two, one, and move. Jab, cross, slip, and cross. If you're still not getting it, you can follow me as I'm doing. But make sure your form is right and you're extending those punches full. Keep that smile on your face and keep moving around. Let's go. This is the last combination of the day. Work harder. Go faster. One, two, slap, two. Move, move, move. Almost done. Faster. Three, two, one, and time. Good job. We have a last movement. Okay, this movement. I love this movement and I hate it at the same, same time. Because it really, it's a really killer movement. We'll do mountain climbers. Yes. So mountain climbers, last 30 seconds of work. We're going for our cool down. You gotta give me your best this time, okay? Get ready. High plank position. Palms under your shoulder. In three, two, one, and go. Let's go. That's 30 seconds of our today's workout. Let's go a little faster. Come on. Move, move. Don't go here, keep your palms under your shoulder and then move. Almost here. Three, two, one. And time, awesome. We are done with our workout. Good job, everyone. This is the time we'll do our cool down and we'll end the session. Doing some stretching is very important in the end to prevent injury and you will not get that sore tomorrow. All right, so you breathe 20 seconds and prepare your body for a nice and chill cool down. We'll do some quick, quick stretches, starting with the lower body. What I want you to do is, you place your palms down, your chest on the floor, from there you press up and hold. All right, keep your chest up, shoulders active and breathe. Feel that stretch on your abdomen. You did a lot of abs workout. Three, two, one, and change. Moving on to a pigeon stretch. Right leg forward, place it like this on the floor. You drop your elbows down, stay right here. Three, two, one, and switch to the side. Elbows down, keep breathing. We have been uploading these workouts every alternate day, every single day. If you're not working out, you're making excuses. I want you to work out, move at least. Half an hour is all you need. Okay, if you're working out only for half an hour and giving you 100%, that counts. So make sure you're moving your body every single day. Stay here and switch to the side. Three, two, one, and change. Okay, let's get up. We'll do some quick, quick upper body stretches. Stretching our shoulder, left arm to the right. Pull from your elbow and pull. Keep breathing, it's important. Other side. Three, two, one, and change. One palm goes on your spine. Pull from your elbow and you pull. You're stretching your tricep, which is this muscle. Three, two, and one. Other side. Keep breathing. Long deep breaths. Three, two, one, and change. 
All right, we'll do one last stretch. Interlock your fingers. You round your upper back and press forward. It's a very important stretch for your back. Stay right here. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good job, everyone. We are done with our today's workout. I'm so happy that you completed this workout at least. You worked out for half an hour. As I said, it really counts if you stayed with me till the end, all right? If you really like this workout, you can let us know in the comment section. Also, please like, subscribe, and share our channel if you want these, these kinds of workouts more, all right? I'll see you soon in the next session. Till then, time. Bye-bye.